do 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 do. Art speaks volumes. Pretty much the biggest wall mural I've done solo. So does Adri Norris. The stack of books that I have are all books that are about I just equity for different Black groups, Hispanic, LGBTQ Asian American communities. Communities. The stories that we continue to speak aloud. Those are the ones that persist. Adri's an artist. This is nothing but straight lines. An activist. This is America. <laughs> Things can always go sideways. A collector of facts. I have um, a portrait of Ava Hamilton, who is a Native American activist. That palette gets her through the hottest days. That's why I have this ridiculous hat on. Adri never gravitates towards the easy or obvious. For that reason, I paint murals of women. Size doesn't matter. <laughs> Her works make a statement. When I first started this project, you know, I was thinking in terms of role models. I'm like, man, <laughs> look how many role models I've been deprived of by not knowing who these people were. Her focus is singular. Absolutely. Women who make history, but not necessarily history books. Because, yeah, there's just so many individuals. I'm like, really? Nobody told me? This is stupid, <laughs> you know? Uh, so this is Mary McLeod Bethune. She was actually she was on, was on the fight for the Committee for the United uh, Nations. She was involved in the fight for women's suffrage. The marks she leaves celebrate women who made their own. The Audre Lord? Yeah. That's kind of one of my favorites. I'm not selling it. <laughs> she was a lesbian feminist. I'm a lesbian feminist. Kind of <laughs> fell into education. And I kind of fell into education as a result of this work that I do. A teacher. I love all things nerdy. Who's always learning. So she gets their stories right. You know how many books do I have to read? You know, which information I have to be just constantly taking in all the time? Adri's path to art is a little jagged. Do you mean how I joined the Marines for some reason? <laughs> Five years as a military translator. That was a weird thing I did. <laughs> taught her to speak for those who couldn't. I was privy to how Middle Eastern culture actually was. And so I became acutely aware of the strength of propaganda um, in that sense and how we choose to view people and how we choose to speak about people. I'm not only showing you, hey, here's a picture of this lady that I think is cool. Um, I'm telling you what she did. And so the things that I'm most passionate about actively affect me, which is why I don't paint dudes. Sometimes frustrations fuel her work. This week, they decided to overturn Roe Ro versus Wade. For Adri, it makes each brush stroke more important. You know, I'm wearing Shirley Chisholm on my shirt today. First black woman in Congress. I think she would be sorely disappointed, but whether she'd be surprised or not is up for grabs. Anger is very good at creating action. And when focused, the kinds of actions that we can take are phenomenal. This is a series of paintings that I do that I call Women Behaving Badly, uh, because well-behaved women seldom make history. Lessons break through gallery walls. We have a tendency to kind of think about women in history, people of color in history, and just sort of relegate uh, a few of them, it's almost like a few of them get to do something. When it comes to doing my pieces, I've made a point predominantly to not pick the most famous. Women's voices are elevated. She was Iran's first female judge. That gets people talking. I like this one because I'm also indigenous. Just all of it, it makes me proud to be indigenous at the same time. It, it makes me feel more empowered to work harder in w what I do in our community. So if we don't tell our stories out loud, if we don't tell them to one another continually, then those stories fall by the wayside. Art can be loud. Work. She was an incredibly prolific she writer. She won the Croix de Guerre, which was We're the French. And so she became a scientist. She became a doctor. Uh, uh, Brianna uh, Scurry, uh, she was super dope. When Adri's brush hits the paper, the wall, the canvas. Pleasure, thank you for coming. She hopes people listen. So rolling over here, we have Laurie Dr. Hernandez. Dr. Jemison was the first black woman to go into space. If you're curious to know more, please look it up. Um, so. Adri recently moved to New Mexico where she plans to keep her work's focus on women that she would like us to know more about. Ah, oh, that's a shame. New Mexico, your gain, our loss. Yeah. yeah. Work is incredible.